And I'm Rupali. Welcome to day seven of your 21 day movement challenge. Today's class is going to be a period of pause in the midst of this movement uh, day to rest and digest. So we'll do a full body reset. We'll have simple long stretches, yin style holes, and just take all the tension out and be ready for week two. We really want to encourage you to give yourself permission, especially if you're the kind of person who feels like she or he always needs to be on the go uh, today to really go slow and be gentle and kind to yourself. So we'll need a strap or something like that. If you don't have a yoga strap, a belt works just as well or a long towel and that's it. See you on your mats when you're ready. All right, everyone, so we'll begin in a simple cross leg. Find a comfortable seat and take a moment. Just relax this body, relax the shoulders. Close your eyes and take a few breaths. Notice everything in your body. See what feels good. See if you feel any tension anywhere. Then let's begin by taking our right hand out to the right. Extend the fingertips as far out as you can take them and let them kind of float off. Try not to lean too much into your right. And then slowly start to drop your left ear down until you feel a nice line of work along your neck, and the tops of your shoulder. Then we'll take the left fingertips towards the top of your head on the right side. Just gently, very gently without pushing or pulling, just kind of touch. Another breath there. Then release the left hand, bring your head back to the center, bring your right hand back. We'll do the same on the left, extend your left fingertips out without leaning into your left side. Once you start to float off, keep that engagement of the fingertips pressing away from you and then start to release your right ear down towards the shoulder. Close your eyes so you can focus on the sensation of stretch or release. Right fingertips go to the top of your head on the left side. Again, very gently just engaging. Release the right hand, bring the head back to the center, draw your left back in. And then if you'd like, you can shift to sit on your heels or you can stay as you're sitting either ways we'll take our um, right arm up to the sky and your left arm out in line with your left shoulder and take this left arm and rotate it internally all the way down from the shoulder and we'll take your left hand your left arm behind you bend the elbow and take your left hand up bend the right bringing the right hand down and then wherever you are, you can either clasp your fingers or press the hands into the back or even hold on to your t-shirt. Take again a few breaths here. Trying not to drop your head down or shoulders round. Release that, release the left, then switch it out. Left arm up, right arm out to the right. Internally rotate that whole right arm starting at the shoulder. That sets it up to, to uh, keep the shoulder pretty easy in this move. Your left arm bends down. Again, wherever you go with your hands, just draw the shoulders back, lift the gaze and breathe. Releasing the left arm, releasing the right, 
we'll release the shoulders now with a few rolls so we'll take the shoulders up and back and squeeze them down and a few more just like that just forward up back and down and then the other way back up forward and down just freely rotating and then we'll extend the arms out take your right arm across the body left goes underneath and press in dropping the right shoulder down you can stay here as this is or wrap into an eagle bind dropping the shoulders lifting the elbows and pressing the palms away undo that take it out to the side and left arm across the body right elbow presses it in left shoulder releases down again you can hold this as it is or continue to do a full eagle arm bind dropping the shoulders lifting the elbow pressing the palms away release that as well and again we'll take it out of the shoulders by shrugging them up super strong squeeze 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 and as you exhale let it go one more just like that squeeze it squeeze it squeeze it and exhale super nice and then we'll move on to our hands and knees to continue that opening to our uh, spine move your knees out underneath the hips wrists under the shoulders fingers spread apart <clears throat> and then slowly start to inhale as you lift your tailbone dropping your belly opening your chest gaze lifts up as you exhale tip the tailbone down pull the navel up spread the shoulders wide apart from each other push the ground away gaze moves to the navel and then two more just like that tailbone lifts belly drops draw the shoulders back melt the chest gaze up exhale and then one more inhale exhale it out and then from here you'll move your hands forward or your knees back or both extending as far away from each other as they can get and then as you inhale you'll tilt the tailbone up start to soften the belly the chest and chin down towards the ground inhale to roll it up halfway exhale to melt forward and down last one inhale roll it up halfway and then exhale this time we'll settle into our melting heart anahatasana wherever you are bring a softness in towards your heart your upper back opening maybe chin touches the ground And then finally, we'll just kind of stretch our toes out, start to walk our hands back and our hips down towards the child's pose. Take a few moments here, just a breath or two. And then slowly come up to sit. We'll tuck our toes in, we'll move on to stretching our toes and, and the arches of our feet just a little bit. And sit back, let your toes tuck in nicely. Let the arches start to feel a stretch. If it, this is too much, you can always lean forward a little, take the weight off. But if you find that you can sit back, we'll take a moment here. Again, if you do this and you find that you have potential for a little more stretch in your feet, you lift your knees up 
press some weight down into the heels and maybe even take your hands off the ground. And then finally, before we lay down onto our backs, we'll move our feet slightly wider apart, point your toes out and heels in. If your heels are lifted, no problem at all. If you find it hard to balance, you'll put something, your blanket may be underneath your heels, or you can release your heels down and head towards a nice, easy hip opening malasana. We'll stay here for five breaths or so, just settling. softening we're also lifting the chest lengthening the spine one more exhale and then we are ready to make our way back we way down to our backs so we'll just find our way down bring your strap with you or your belt or your towel whatever you're using and once you find your way onto your back, give yourself a few moments of just um, a little hugging the knees, releasing the back side to side. And then place your hands on, on the tops of your knees, allow your arms to straighten so you're holding on to your knees and your legs are relaxed. Just kind of let the feet release, be heavy a little. And that normally feels very, very nice and grounding on your lower back. Keep that pressing down action with your hands and start to make circles. Bending and straightening the elbows, holding on to your knees. lower back circles feel very soothing and we'll take the circles in reverse take a moment to just release your lower body into your hands into your palms and then finally relax your left foot down on the ground grab your strap or belt or whatever it is you're using We'll take that strap and wrap it around the ball of the right foot and then start to extend that leg up. Your leg may or may not straighten and it's totally fine, but take it as straight as you can. If you need to release it a little lower so you can straighten it, that is that really works as well. I want you to hold on tight but not squeeze the shoulders. So bring your hands down as low as you need to to relax your shoulders and your upper back as you find a nice deep stretch in the back of this leg. Again, press the heel up, pull the toes down, hold strong without any stress. If and when you feel ready, you can extend your left leg out if that's right for you. And now we'll just breathe and hold this stretch. and relax and open into it. Take another deep breath here. Softly exhale it out. And then release the strap as you bend your right knee back in. Place the strap to the side. Place your left hand on the top of your left hip. Take your right hand along your knee and then open that knee out to the right. Plenty of people, this is enough sensation. It starts to open 
deep into your inner hip trying not to let the left hip rise up too high or you can keep uh, you can move the ankle on top of the knee and hold on to the foot as you press that knee down into a half happy baby again find a nice opening for yourself here and breathe into it Exhale as you release the right foot back down. Bring your strap back, bend your left knee in, wrap the, uh, the strap around the ball of the left foot, extend that left leg up or a little further away so it's straight or as straight as you can get it to begin with. And then pull on the strap, release the upper back, the neck, flex the toes back towards you. And once you're ready, extend your right leg out. Again, find a, the proper amount of sensation for you today. So not too little, not too hard, a place you can breathe and settle in. And let's do just that. Another big breath in and a big exhale and then release that stretch, move the strap back out to the side, bend your left knee and start to open that left knee out to the left. Again, as on the other side, you may find that this is enough work for you or you may find that you want a little bit more if you do ankle on top of the knee, hold on to your foot. And as you exhale, start to press the knee down. May or may not reach anywhere close to the ground. And then release that as well. You can place your left foot down. Bring your right ankle on top of your left thigh. Flex the toes back. Press the knee away. Take a moment. And then bring that shape in for a thread the needle. You can either interlace your fingers on top of your left shin or on, on the back of your left thigh. And bring it all the way in and breathe keeping the right toes flexed back towards the knee one more breath and then release the left foot down Release the right foot down to your left. You'll place your left hand on the front of your right ankle and press that knee away. We'll take a few breaths in this twist. And then we'll bring it all back in. Right foot down, left ankle on top. Press the knee away and we'll take your left hand through the center and thread the needle here. Flex the left toes back towards the left knee. Bring it as tight as you want. And 
and then finally we'll just take that right foot down and bring the whole shape down towards your right with your left foot touching the ground your right hand the front of your left ankle and letting the left knee roll away from you for our final stretch release all of that back in to the center we'll drop our feet wide apart and then let our knees roll in and out into a windshield wiper like motion until you feel like you've your hips are reset then your lower back feels nice finally bring your feet down when you're ready to come back out turn to your side and find your way all the way up again take a few moments before you step back into your life to set the tone for the rest of your day or what's left of your day with gratitude and kindness namaste thank you for joining us today